Hello friends, in this video we learned that how can we change the image on clicking any button and how can we change the image width, width on clicking any button or how can we disappear the image when we click on the image uh, when we click on the button and we also learn that how can we change the text on clicking on the button and how can we change the font size with the text so let's start coding you can see that i have created a file named chapter 35.html now type the coding of main tags like this and change the title into chapter 35 and now in body type h1 and then javascript or the thing which you want here now means the text okay now in head tag type here style and script tag now in style tag i am typing image style and the image style i want is border and the border i want is black border of 5 pixel and solid border now for body tag i want the style of background image and i want radial gradient and i want the red green purple blue uh, pink i want here lone green hot pink Okay, so I want uh, orange also and yellow. Okay, so let's start put right click on it and click on open with live server. Now see how it is. So it is looking very beautiful. Now go to your coding in style tag code h1 tag and type background color black and the color of the text is white this is also good now in body style type here text align center like this now see how it is so now text line is center and the color of javascript is uh, something like white and the background color of javascript is black. Now let's change the font size of javascript and I am giving the size 100 pixel. It is very good. See how it is. Now. So, firstly, here in body tag, we have to code any image coding here. And the image I want is in images folder, then in image or see, this is a folder. So, here comes first image, then his images, old images. So you can take anyone from your folder. So I am giving here dog.jpg this one and in alt I am giving network issue so let's the output see so the image is very big that's why we can't see the image very beautiful so type here 
width like this and I am giving the width of 500 pixel oh 500 pixel and the height of something like 300 pixel and close this okay now see now it is in small size and it is looking very beautiful you can see that it has a border that it is because we typed image and then border black 5 pixel solid so that's why there is a border here now I am creating a button here and when I click on that button I want the image changed into any other image so we can do this by using JavaScript so now in script tag we have to code here from, uh, first we have to create a button here like this and type here change image or any other text which you want here change image now give a function here on click on click function and the function name I am giving is this one and then bracket then now let's type the function of this button and now go to script tag type function and then the function name which is this one this one then bracket and then this now type document dot get element by id this one and then bracket now give the id to your image and the id i am giving is dog because it is the dog image so type here dog and now after typing document dot get element by id and inside bracket type after the id type dot src you can see that there is src in image src means source so the source of images image slash dog dot jpg like that we have to also type here source and then sorry and now inside source type the link of image which you want to display then image slash I want see here is image folder so inside image folder I want dear dot jpg this one so type here the coding of dears dot jpg like this see here's the image and it's look like this so now type here like this now close the folder okay. now see how it comes it is like this and when you click on this button then the image changes into dear.jpg so it is very good but i want the button down below of the image so let's type here br tag now see how it comes when we click on change image then the image changes into dears.jpg and when we do not change the image it is dog.jpg so so friends now we learned that how can we change the width of an image by clicking on any button so let's type here the coding of any other image we have to type here IMGs for image tag and now in SRC type the image coding that way where it is so now I am giving here flamingo.jpg or I can also give here 
kangaroo or uh, i want koala bear dot jpg here and now in alt say network issue now change the width and height of the image i want the width of uh, 400 pixel but i am typing here 300 pixel why because when anybody click on the button i want the width of 400 pixel so it will look bad then if they click on the button then it will go look good so i won't like this so type here heart or you can type here 400 or any other number but I am typing here 300 pixel. Now in height I am typing 200 pixel. Now see. Here is the both images. Now type PR after the button coding. And type PR after the image also. Now. Type here ID. So that we can type the function here. Now ID I am giving is Koala, not Koala bear, I am only giving here Koala. So now create here a button and like this and now inside button tag type uh, change width. Now click here on click function and then name your function like I'm typing here bear not koala bear function this is now go to script tag and type here function and then type the name of your function like bear and then like this Okay, now here we have to type document dot get element by id this one and now type here like this and type the type here your id name like his koala so type here koala note my id type here your id which you typed here and now i am typing the id here which is koala check the spelling many times so that there will be no mistake in your coding now after typing document dot get element by id koala then type dot style width dot style then one more time dot then width this one and then is equal to and like this okay now type how many width you want like is 300 pixel but i want 400 pixels so here will be like this and then colon so see how it will come now see here is our two images one is this and second is this now when you click on change image then it will come like this and when we click on change width then the width of this image is now 400 pixels see one more time See, now it is small. When I click on this change width button, then it is larger, uh, large, it has large width. So, now, when I click on, you, on any button, I want to image disappear. How can you do this? We can do this by using script tag, means by using JavaScript. So, now, Type here one more image coding. This is the last image coding. And now type the image location. Like I want giraffe.jpg or I can take gorilla.jpg. There is many. I can take rabbit also. Rabbit1, rabbit2.jpg. This one is good. Now in L type network issue or any other text you want. L means if I type here wrong name and then we 
go to our website then see here is network issue means the text which you type in alt will come in the place of the image if there is any mistake in the coding of image so here comes one and here it's like this now type br tag after the button so see is rabbit.jpg it is small image so i don't want to change this image width or height so see now give a add to this image this one and the id i am giving is rabbit because this is a rabbit image and now go to script tag type here function so now it has here now type a button here also and the button i want is hide image now give function here and the function is of own click and the function name is this uh i sorry i typed here this uh, because in this function the image has to disappear i typed here this fun this one functions that's why i don't type here this so I can type here this only this function also but I don't want it now here I type this uh, function and now go to script tag type here this uh, and then bracket then the curly now type here document dot oh this is okay, document dot get element by id like this and now the id of the image is rabbit so type here rabbit and then type dot then style type here style then display you all know that display if this image then i can set that the image is displaying so type here style then display then none so here is display display means the image is displaying means images in the website but if we type here style to display none display none means the display will not display it. so here you have to type like this then call okay so now see when we click on the button then the image hide so type here br so that there will be a in the line now you can type here open image then so now this is the output okay so there is one more thing and that is the last topic of our today's video and that is that in previous video we learned that how can we change the text by using javascript now in this video we learned that how can we give two things to one text or line like i want i want a text here and i also want a button here when i click on that button I want the text changes and I also want the text font size bigger so we can do two things only in one line so first type here p tag and type any paragraph here I'm typing here a small paragraph so it will come like this okay now you are added to the p tag uh, like this and the id is p1 i'm giving is p1 and now 
type here a button and the button I want and here type change para para means paragraph and type here on click and I want para function on click and then bracket like this. Now go to script tag type here function then para the name of the function is para so I'm typing a para and now type here document dot here comes document dot get element by id and then type the id and which is p1 and now type here dot inner html and type then is equal to like this now type the text to which you want to change this paragraph like i am typing thank you for seeing my java script and now type here colon okay so now copy this all and paste it under it in the same function do not in another function paste it into the same function and type here style then dot font and the font here comes not only font here comes font size and then type here the font size which you want like I want 200 pixel is also very big so you can give him 100 pixel and now see here is a paragraph when you click on change para it has thank you for seeing my para So, so So now friends see that here is a uh, here in size the s is small but we have to type a capital S that's why the text not coming in big size so let's see the output see here and here's the paragraph click on change para and the paragraph disappeared but it is not disappeared when you scroll down you can see the text thank you for seeing my javascript so friends our today's whole topic are finished thanks for watching bye bye friends